The opening day of the ISPS Hander Australian Open didn't fail to disappoint. Kate Burton in the commentary box alongside me, Alison Whitaker. And Ali is only the second event on the LPGA schedule, but there was a lot of hot play on the golf course. There was, and to think we were talking about how hard it was playing during the <laughs> practice rounds. Little did we know that the world's best players would go and give it a good run for its money today. They certainly have been, and there's still play continuing on the golf course. It is a fabulous layout, and we have seen some world-class golf with the very best at the top of the Rolex rankings doing extremely well. Well, that's it, and it's a kind of golf course that produces good winners, I think. You know, it's a thinker's golf course, and then you have to be able to execute your plan, which is usually the tough bit. We all know that, but it was certainly a fun day. Well, we've talked a lot today about it being a second shot golf course. And one player who's exceptionally good at that is Jin Young Ko. She's right up there. Many highlights to be enjoyed. Why don't we join Quentin Hull now and feast our eyes upon them. The first of the highlights coming from one of the relative unknowns, ranked 579 in the world, the American Caroline Inglis. And that was a birdie on two on a way to a four under 68. Also, Signing off on a 68 today, the former major winner, So Young Yu. This was on 14. Both the Jutanagans are here. Here's Moria with a wonderful shot on 16. Started on the back nine today. And went on to make a two. It's not the Australian Open without this woman, Kari Webb and an extended off-season. On return to competition golf, this was her opening putt at the opening hole. What a way to start. <laughs> Highest ranked player in the field is Soyeon Yu. So much expected of her booty attempt on seven. Read the bait beautifully. She's in contention after a good opening day, as is this 50-time international winner. G.A. Shin off the back of winning in Canberra last week. Birdie goes down on eight. The reigning champion, Hana Jang, is back to see if she can defend what she won at Royal Adelaide so brilliantly last year. That was at nine. She tapped that in for a birdie. And Jin Young Ko. The KLPGA star, now a fully-fledged LPGA Tour member. That went down on 14. And back to GA, the 2013 Australian Open champion. 17 played as the toughest hole on the course today. Blind approach. But what a shot from GA Shin. Wonderful as she went on to birdie there on her way to a five under. 67 and she was pretty happy after the day. Well, every time when I get in LA, first time I uh, first I to do to the least the meat pie. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, of course I'm not, I'm never miss that. <laughs> Well, she certainly is deserving of a meat pie after a fabulous opening round of 67 to be five under par. But she finds herself two shots back of her compatriot, Jin Young Ko, the 10 time winner on the KLPGA Tour, who's now taken up full playing status on the LPGA Tour in 2018. Ali, we're going to talk about meat pies in a second because I know you're going to eat <laughs> plenty of those this week. But Jin Young Ko, Finish with a birdie behind us on the 18th. She's in irresistible form. Isn't she? And you know, it is an irons player, irons course, really. You have to hit your irons well. So she's known for that on the KLPGA. She's brought that here to Australia and she's been fun to watch. But she's also hold a ton of putts as well from long range too. And you need to. I think leaving yourself on the right side of the hole is really important. And uh, if you can manage to sneak a couple of long ones in as well, then that's just a bonus. <laughs> okay, well look, you're off for a meat pie. I'm off for a glass of wine. We're in Adelaide. Adelaide after all. Good to have your company here though on the opening day of the ISPS Handa Australian Open.